All right, well, greetings to you. Again, I am your pastor, Bishop Quantisa Davis, and I thank you all for tuning in again to our next um, new members class, all right? Today, we are going to, or in this video, we are going to be talking about tithing and offering. Yeah, tithing and offering. That seems to be one of those things that a lot of people don't want to talk about. Um, but it is important to talk about, okay? Um, when you become a member of Victory in Christ and, and you all are going through, you know, the new members class now, um, it is important to understand that we believe in paying our tithing and offering, okay? Tithing and offering is something that God has given to us, and so therefore, we have a duty to give back to him, okay? Um, we believe, I believe, that we are meant to be prosperous people of God. God never intended us for, to live in poverty, to live in lack, but he said overflow, okay? Um, you know, I would do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. That tells me that he wants us every day in any every area of our life to live prosperous, to live in an overflow. He says, um, you know, um, I'll, I'll open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that shall not be room enough to receive the overflow. You know, he'll fill your cup and the excess run over, overflow. We were always meant to be living in a prosperous life. Now, that does not just mean living prosperous money. It means in our mind. It means in our body. It means in our souls. Okay. It means our whole body, our whole being of who we are is meant to be prosperous in every area of our life. Okay. And so he told Abraham, you know, he said, you will be blessed to be a blessing. And I truly believe that we are all blessed to be a blessing. My wife and I and our family, we are blessed to be a blessing. Um, and, and, and it starts, beloved, with your tithe paying. It starts with your offering. It starts with tithing and offering. Okay. Uh, Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. And you may hear me say this and talk about this um, in church service as we're taking an offering. Um, it says here, and I'll start reading at the eighth verse from the Message Bible, and it says, begin by being honest. Do honest people rob God? But you rob me day after day. You ask, how have we robbed you? The tithe and the offering. That's how. And now you're under a curse the whole lot of you because you're robbing me. Bring your full tide to the temple treasure so there will be ample provision in my temple. Test me in this and see if I don't open heaven itself to you and pour out a blessing beyond your wildest dreams. For my part, I will defend you against murderers, Protect your wheat fields, vegetable gardens against plunderers, the message of God of the angel armies. Now, looking at this, beloved, the blessings come from the tithe. The Hebrew word and Greek word in tithe, Hebrew means 10%. And so the Lord says to test him in this. He says, how do you rob me? You rob me in tithing and offering because I've given to you and I've given to you freely. But yet, for some reason, we are closed handed when we give back oh, Tony, to name? God. I apologize. Um, and so here it is that we must, beloved, give unto God as God has given unto us. And I know you've heard it before. It says that you can't beat God's giving. No matter how you try, the more you give, the more he'll give to you. <laughs> we can't beat God's giving. But what we can do is give to what he has given to us. 
Bible says that he said to prove me in this. Prove me in this and see if I won't open up the window of heaven and pour you out a blessing. He says a blessing. Just one blessing from God will overweight what we could ever do for him. What we could ever do for him. And I take very, very, uh, um, and, and I think it's very important that the leaders of Victory in Christ, and we'll talk about this more um, in, in, you know, the next level of, of, of studies um, with this. But I believe that it's most important that the leaders of Victory in Christ be the first partakers in giving and in doing. We cannot say that we're leaders if we don't do what is asked of us. Beloved, it is a self-evaluation. And of it, you've got to determine for yourself, should you give off of your gross income or should you give off your net income? Gross is what you get before everything is taken out of it. Net is what you bring home. Okay? Me personally, me and... And Lady K, um, we give off gross. No matter what we get, um, because I see it as this. When we pay and we give our tithing and our offering, God opens windows. And he continuously pours into us. And so the things that I wasn't expecting to get, the checks and the, the direct deposits and, you know, the gifts and stuff and engagements that I was never expected to be asked to come and preach. I, I give off of that because I understand that this was something that I didn't expect to have in the first place. But because I got it, it was because of God. And I'm going to give back unto him. And what we found out, beloved, is that when we do that, God opens windows. He opens doors. He, he blesses us tremendously. I often tell you, you hear me say, a closed hand has no room to receive anything or neither is anything coming out. But if your hand is open, you're able to give, but you're also able to receive. Understand, beloved, that tithing and offering it together, your tithe is first, and then also comes after that your offering. So your tithing is the 10%, and your offering is that which you give as an offering unto God. Lord, I've done what you've asked me to do, but God, I'm going to do a little bit more. We believe in prosperity of the tithe and the offering. God says that whatsoever you sow, that you shall also reap. And so I don't know about you, but I am going to continue to sow because I want to continue to reap. Take your self-evaluation today. And please understand, and I must give this disclosure and this disclaimer, that none of this money <laughs> goes into your bishop's pocket. None of this money your bishops you your bishop use for self enjoyment your bishop works your bishop has a job and so does first lady god provides for us tremendously and when the time comes that the church feels that you know um, the bishop um, should get a salary praise god but until then please know that all your tithing and your offering goes to the church it goes to the, the church, and any time you, you, you need of something, um, we have different ministries that, you know, when you annotate that on your, your giving um, slip, we put it into that ministry, and we use it to go back into you, go back into the fulfillment and the enjoyment of the different ministries and the things that we have going on at church. So please understand that, okay? Before you do anything else, and you uh, please understand this, that you don't have to wait to pay your tithing and offering on Sunday morning. Me, myself, and, and Lady Karen, um, when we get paid, when I get paid, I'm sending my cash app to the church. 
so that I don't have any excuse before I go out spending and my, all my bills are paid and all that other stuff. I give God what belongs to him because I know he's going to provide and give me exactly what I need. And so again, not to be long on this and not to take too much time on this, but do a self-evaluation. Uh, certainly Caesar came out with a song, if you want to be blessed, pay your tithe and your offering. Give unto the Lord and watch as he said in Malachi um, chapter 3, verses 8 through 11. See if he won't open up that window and pour you out a blessing. God is going to do his job if we do our job. And the other part of that is that he said, I will defend you against all this thing. By you being obedient to what God has called you to do and, and doing what he has said, he will be your defense. He will make sure that you have what you need. All right? Our church, again, runs off of tithing and offering. And I, you'll never hear me talk this much about tithing and offering ever because I believe that the people of God will do and be obedient to what God is saying. And that is to pay your tithing and offering. Our church is, is well, well positioned. God has blessed victory in Christ in a well position. And so therefore, um, at any time, you'll be able to go on church track. If you haven't already signed up, go ahead and sign up, send, you know, make sure the secretary has your information, your email so that you can log in to church track and you can see what your giving record is. You can print it out. You can see it. Okay. Because we want to make sure that you, all matters are in order. All right. Everything is in order and, and done in decency and in order. How can God bless a mess? He won't. And so we have to make sure that everything is done in decency and in order, all right? And so, again, um, do a self-evaluation. Do you want gross blessings or net blessing? Give unto the Lord, and it shall be given unto us. Press down, shaken together, and running over, he says, shall men give unto your bosom. And so watch what God does when you do what he has commanded of us. All right? God bless you. We're moving on now to our next... Um, video. I can't wait to see you in the next video. All right. And just remember, give and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking together and running over. I want the gross blessing, not the net. God bless you. We'll see you in the next video.